It's impossible not to hear about the Medicare annual open enrollment period each year. You're bombarded by TV commercials and other advertisements for about three months straight. Coming up next, how to prepare and make sense of all the riffraff. Andy Stamis here with Medicare Mindset. Today we're going to clear the air of the Medicare advertising onslaught. For example, the TV commercials will promise you the sun and the moon. But how do you know what's true and what's marketing spin? Well, first you need to review your plan's annual notice of change letter. If you're enrolled in a standalone Part D drug plan or Medicare Advantage Part C plan, you will receive your annual notice of change or ANOC letter by September 30th. Most people receive this by mail, but if you selected e-delivery of policy updates with your insurance carrier, you'll need to pay attention to the email alerts from your plan. It's incredibly important that you review this. You have to understand your existing plan before you allow yourself to be seduced by Broadway Joe. A lot of Medicare beneficiaries miss these notices and are later caught off guard when they realize their plan has changed dramatically. So our first tip is to be diligent in checking all your mail received in September. There will be plenty of advertisements, but there will also be your ANOC letter. Please read it carefully. The annual notice of change summarizes things like the monthly plan premium, deductible, co-pays, covered services, and the service area. Sometimes your plan will have a name change or get automatically mapped over to another plan with the same insurance carrier and that sometimes leads to big unexpected changes. Another tip is to also watch for other notices from your plan. The evidence of coverage is one of these, which details plan benefits, cost sharing amounts, what your plan pays for, and how the plan works in general. It's a pretty thick document, but do take some time to get acquainted with it. Other notices you might receive are changes in the prescription drug formulary. If you're taking a medication that is currently covered on the plan, but will no longer be covered next year, the plan has to alert you. They will send a letter with this announcement and typically offer some alternative medications in the same drug class that are indeed covered on the plan's formulary. And the same thing for a drug moving from one tier to another. For example, they will alert you if a drug moves from a tier three to tier four, which would mean an increase in cost to you. Another notice is about the plan's network itself. They won't tell you about one doctor leaving the network, but they will give you a heads up if they are having difficulties coming to a contractual agreement with a hospital system or a large network of doctors. Bottom line, watch your mail closely. Separate an advertisement to buy a plan from an actual notice about changes to your existing plan, and then read these notices. After you've reviewed your existing plan's benefits for next year, you'll need to decide if those changes even warrant the need to shop for new options. In many instances, you'll be fine to leave things alone and let your plan renew automatically. Okay, now it's time to talk about the advertisements on TV and elsewhere. It's marketing. It's all about getting you to act, to make you think the grass is greener on the other side. Much of the benefits mentioned in advertisements are quite possibly already in your existing plan. It's funny how the ads make it seem like everything mentioned is brand new this year and never been offered before. In a similar vein, the ads will say things like, you could get this and you could get that. These TV commercials are national advertisements. They aren't talking about the plans specifically available in your area. These are only possibilities they are mentioning. Again, trying to get you to act by calling the number on your TV. So take it all with a grain of salt. Hopefully this gives you a little more context on how to view and approach this important time period. And if you don't already know, the Medicare annual open enrollment period is October 15th to December 7th.